Welcome back to another episode of Aerodynamics with Paper Airplanes. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is how to control your paper airplane, how to tell it where to go, rather than it just flying willy-nilly wherever it wants to. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut little slits in the back of this wing, and that is going to show up, or that's going to let us experiment with how to control the airplane. So you cut four slats on it. And then you can fold these both directions. And you might have seen something similar to these on paper, not paper, on real airplanes. If you're flying, you'll notice, especially around takeoff and landing, or if you turn, you'll see these things on the wings fold up or fold down. And what they're doing is they're controlling the airplane. So we're going to take a step through this one thing at a time. In very simple words, whatever direction you tilt the paper, that wing is going to do the opposite of that. So if we tilt this side up, this wing is going to tilt down. So if we put this other one down, that's going to make this wing tilt up. So if you want your airplane to do maybe a barrel roll or a really sharp turn, you want to put them opposite each other so that once it starts flying, this wing goes down and this wing goes up and it'll roll. Or if it doesn't quite roll, it'll at least take a really steep turn. So using this simple understanding, we can actually do a whole variety of things to our airplanes. So the first one that we'll experiment with is if we put them both up. If we put them both up, that's actually going to force the back side of both wings down. And overall, what that does to the airplane is that makes the airplane tilt up and then go up. So if we try this real fast, I'll step away from the camera. So if we have these both pointed up and I throw it, it goes up. And it keeps trying to go up the whole time. So if we do that again, it goes up. So you can see that this could be useful if maybe your airplane has a nose diving problem. If every time you throw your airplane, you notice that it just dive bombs right into the ground, then you can cut some slats in the back, put them up as much as is needed to kind of cancel out the nose dive and try to get it to fly straight. Similarly, if we take both of these surfaces on the back and put them down, you can probably guess what's going to happen. Is both backs of the wings are now going to be pushed up. Because remember, it's the opposite of the direction that you point the paper. It's the opposite. So if we put the paper down, then the back of the wing is going to get pushed upwards, and it's going to nose that. So if your airplane had a problem with going up too much when you throw it, you can cancel that out by adding a little bit of nose dive. This shouldn't ruin the airplane, I hope. But here we go. Yeah, just immediately. It just dives right into the ground. And the last one that we'll explore is that rolling one where we talked about earlier. So if this is pointed down, this half of the wing is going to go up. If this is pointed up, this half of the wing is going to go down. And we're going to see if we can actually get it to roll. Sometimes, again, it just takes a steep turn. So this time, kind of. We'll try that once more for you, see if we can get a good roll. So, unfortunately, some airplanes will work better. And since this is um, just a model, we were able to learn a lot from this. So that is our video today on how to control your airplane using your own control surfaces. You might hear some words like elevator or aileron or rudder or flap. All of those are different types of these control surfaces. You can cut them in several different places along an airplane, and they each can serve their own functions and help steer the airplane. 
We'll talk more about that in this week's advanced video, but go ahead, build a paper airplane. The tutorial for this particular type of paper airplane is also on our channel. It's called the Y Flyer. So go ahead and look it up, see if you can build your own, cut your own control surfaces, and go have fun.